Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get a, a 90s bushy brow. You know, it's all the rage right now, it's back in. So today I'm gonna to show you how to get it and also gonna be sharing a couple of my favorite brow products to obtain this look. I feel like anybody can get this look, whether you already have bushy brows and you don't really need to do this or if you have hardly any hair at all because you might have plucked them out in like high school or something or whatever. So anyways, um, I'm gonna show you guys how to get that look today. So uh, if you wanna see how to do that, then stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is just uh, brush through my brows and um, you can just take a spoolie to do this. And the reason that you wanna do this to start with is you want all of your hairs to be brushed upwards so that your brows look bushy. If your brow hair is pointing the way that it grows, it's, it's gonna look like a normal brow and that's fine, but for this look, you really wanna brush the hairs up. You can see right here, it's already giving my brows some dimension. It's already making it look bushier. You can take soap or some kind of waxy product here to try and get hairs to stay. I just got this from e.l.f. It is um, like a waxy pen kind of thing. I'm gonna try this to see if it does anything and I'm just gonna go ahead and try warming this up on my hand first. I'm just gonna try this. I don't really know how this guy is gonna work but I'm just gonna brush it into my brows. Oh see look at that. Okay. This is a good one. So if you have a waxy product, I would use that, or you can use bar soap. Um, you can apply it with a brush, you can apply it with your finger. And then I'm gonna go back in with my spoolie and just brush the hairs back up. Look at that. Volume. Instant. Next, I am going in with uh, this guy. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow. It's the Tinted Brow Gel. Um, I use the color three. I really like a dark, bold brow, um, especially for a bushy brow. I just feel like if you're gonna go bushy and make a bold statement, you might as well just go dark. Um, so I'm gonna go in with this guy, and I know a lot of times people use a tinted gel at the end of their brow routine, but um, I actually learned this from my mom recently. She has hardly any brows. She plucked them all out when she was in um, high school, and because that was a trend. <laughs> um, and she uses this first. And, you know, I didn't really understand it at first, but then I started doing it, and what it does is it really just tints every brow hair. I mean, unless you have, like, really, really dark hair, a lot of times, like me, I have some hairs that are blonde, and you just can't see them, and it, looks, it just looks like I have gaps everywhere, but when you put the um, brow tint on it, it actually makes the hair stand out, and it just gives you just that little bit more volume. And it also, for me, really helps with drawing my line at the bottom because it gives me um, a wider, thicker brow. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'm just gonna run this through and be sure you're coating all of the hairs from bottom to top. Look how fluffy it looks already. And the reason you should coat them from bottom to top is because Look how thick my brow actually is from the bottom of this hair to the very top. It's actually fairly thick and just you can already tell how much thicker this brow is starting to look versus this one. And I haven't even drawn anything on yet. I've literally just done the wax and the brush and the gel. So I haven't even drawn any new like fake hair on yet and it's already looking bushy. So the next thing I like to do is go in with a pencil. Um, you can use any kind of pencil you want. You can use like one of the twist up ones. I actually got this, I think at the Sephora Rouge sale. Um, it's a Makeup Forever brow pencil. It's literally just a pencil. It doesn't even have the color on it. I mean, that's how basic it is. It's just a dark brown. And so get your pencil and what you wanna do is from the very bottom hairline, so wherever your bottom most hairs are, even if there's just one or two down there, that's where you're gonna draw a faint line following the curve of your brow. 
Sometimes I go all the way down through the tail. Uh, it's up to you whether you want to do that or not. Um, you know, most of the bushiness is going to be focused more in the front um, and with just a little bit at the end. So it's up to you what you want to do, but um, I'm going to draw it all the way through today just so you can see how I do it. So you're going to start at the very front and you're just going to come down from your very front hair and start your line. Okay, so do you see how far down the line is compared to where most of the brow hairs are? But I do actually have hairs down here. It's just hard to see in this light. Yeah, I have a general line drawn here, um, and that's what we're going to be working with. That's like where our baseline is going to be. So now you can continue using your pencil on this step if you want, or if you like brow powder or brow gel. Um, it's really up to you. Uh, what you want to use to draw the hairs in and I actually just got this. This is the Urban Decay Brow Blade um, I just got this guy a few weeks ago and I'm obsessed with it. I kind of held off on buying it because um, I wasn't really sure about it. I just kind of was like why is there a pencil on one end and this weird eyeliner looking thing on the other end? I just wasn't sure about it and Heard a couple of reviews, but not that many people ended up reviewing it, at least from the influencers that I follow. Um, and so I finally, after a while, was like, I'm just going to try it. It's been in the back of my mind. I'm not going to know unless I buy it. So I ended up buying it. I'm obsessed. Like, it is by far my favorite brow product that I have ever owned. Um, it's pretty easy to use. The only thing is um, I would test it out on your brow, like... If you know you're about to take a shower, test it out on your brow first just to test like the pressure of it, the strokes, um, the pigmentation. It's a lot more light-handed than a regular brow pencil. You don't want to go in too heavy. So I'm going to take this guy. You can take whatever you have that you like. Um, and I'm just going to go in and start filling in from the bottom line. And it, this doesn't have to be perfect. I mean... If you know what a 90s brow looks like, you know it ain't perfect. It is bushy, it is big, there are hairs everywhere, it is not tamed. <laughs> See that? If you're using this product and you mess up, it's literally just ink, so you can um, dab your finger on top of it while it's still wet. It will help with the mess a little bit. Okay, and now I'm just going down over the tail, drawing more hair in. Uh, now I'm going back in with my spoolie and just brushing the hairs up and out again. I'm trying to blend all the product together. See how it's dark right here in the middle? I just wanna blend that a little bit better. That's because I got a little too heavy handed there. Okay, so let's just do a little comparison here. Look at this brow versus this brow. And we honestly barely added any product. I mean, literally the only thing we added was either your ink stain or pencil or whatever. Okay, so my final step in my routine, um, I like to take a clear brow gel. Um, you can use the Maybelline Clear Mascara. I used to use that for my brows. And now I use the uh, Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I feel like almost every single makeup line out there that offers brow products probably has clear brow setting gel. Um, so it's really up to you what you use. This really seals my brows in place and they just don't move. Like the product doesn't come off, they don't move, they stay fluffy. I like to use the um, the side with the thicker bristles. Um, the, well, they're more wide apart. I just prefer that. I feel like for a bushy brow, it just really helps to like separate and fan them out. So you're just gonna brush through this one more time, up and out, and then you're done. One brow done. And that's it. That's literally how easy it is, you guys. I am going to jump off and do my other brow, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. The brows are on. We're channeling that 90s bushy brow. I am so obsessed with this look. I hope it never goes away. Even if it does, I'm still going to rock it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you want to be notified uh, when I upload videos then be sure to turn on that notification bell and also please subscribe to my blog. If you're watching this then it means my blog is live and I'm so excited about it. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. There is a video about that and I will link it below. I, uh, I guess that's all for today guys so I will see you in the next video. Bye!